Hello everyone and welcome back to Pro Blog Shop. In this video we are going to be discussing um, updating and how to um, keep your WordPress software up to date and not screw anything up in the process. Um, the first thing you need to know um, when we talk about updating is usually you'll see when you log into your admin area you'll usually see a notification that says please update now. Um, under most conditions, a lot of times you can just go ahead and automatically update this stuff. Um, it's usually not going to hurt anything. Um, but let's go ahead and discuss how they format this. You can see that it's right now it's 3.2.1. Um, the first number represents a major release. So it was at 1, uh, a couple months ago it was at 2, and now it's at 3. Now any time, that the next time this goes to 4, you, you, you probably want to hold up on updating um, or, or definitely follow the, the steps I'm going to tell you about um, next, which is backing up your file, because this represents a major release, um, and there there may be plugins and things and themes that are not compatible with with the new release. Um, the point two right here is they're not major releases, but they're significant improvements to the current release, um, bug fixes, and maybe some additional things that didn't make it into the original launch. Um, so when this gets up to 9, the next release is going to be a major one, which will bring us up to 4. So in the meantime, though, you have the last one. In this case, it's 0.1. It, and the next one it comes out with might not be 0.2. It might be 0.3 or 0.5. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know exactly what the number is going to be, but basically these are minor changes. These are pretty much like bug fixes and things like that. Um, and usually when you update, you know, from this point to this point, there's not a significant change in the in the major core of of the WordPress engine so a lot of times you'll be fine but you still want to go ahead and back up your files um, and make sure that in the event that things go haywire that you can restore um, that you can restore your your website to the way it was so to get started uh, let's go ahead and talk about backing up our files uh, the first thing you want to do is log into your hosting account um, I have HostGator in this example, so I'll go to my cPanel login, and pretty much regardless of whatever hosting you have, I don't care if it's GoDaddy, um, HostGator, if it's uh, BlueVoto, whatever it is, you'll have different sections, and one of them is, or one of them is going to be files. You're going to want to select something that says File Manager, or something very similar to that. And what it's going to do is launch um, an interface where you can interact with the directories. Um, public HTML is the file you want to get to, um, so that's like the main the main hub. And then if you have any additional domains, you'll see them listed in here. For example, I've set up um, just a staging site for this called Scotty Wicks Stage, and so inside of here you'll see the WordPress engine. And how you can identify the WordPress engine is all the files are going to be prefaced with the WP and the, and the hyphen. Um, and the entire, the entire engine is not really that big. You'll have three main folders called WP Admin, WP Content, and WP Includes. And then you have some, some other files um, that are just outside of those. And there's about maybe 20 of them, but again, you can recognize them because they all have the WP. And there is one file that doesn't. It's called xmlrpc.php, so that's also included. Basically, all backing up your file means is take take all this content and download them onto your personal computer or put them someplace else, so that when we do the updates and they overwrite these files, if something goes wrong, we can just overwrite the new ones and put it back to the way things were. Um, a lot of the problems that you run into with backing up the files is that if you notice I have this whole folder this whole folder selected but I can't download it you have to download individual files and that can be very cumbersome and time consuming so what I would recommend is actually to use a um, an FTP client I use FileZilla and you can go to uh, FileZilla FTP client in a Google search and the website is FileZilla-project.org and the download page is the first one that comes up uh, when I type it in. 
Um, but even if you go through files of the you're just going to download the files of the client, all platforms. And um, in most cases, you probably, well, you know what you're running. You're either running a Mac or a Windows. Um, you know, it says recommended. You can just download that and install it. And what this will do is allow you to log in and download everything all at one time with just a couple clicks of your of the button. Um, so once you get that downloaded and installed, and you open it, and it's, it's gonna it's gonna look like this. On the left hand side, this is your computer here. All your files are over here, and on this side is um, gonna be the servers. It's gonna basically be the exact same thing as this file manager here. It's gonna be a, it's just a, it's just a different interface, a different way to interact with your files. Um, so how do you know it's going to ask you number one the filezilla it's going to ask you for a host a username and a password and how do you know what those are um, if you've got hostgator it's pretty easy it's just your IP address um, minus the colon you don't want the colons you just you just want this little bit of information here um, on places like GoDaddy and uh, if you go to your if you go to the dashboard you'll also see where it says IP address um, so you can just copy that, paste it, and then your username is a lot of uh, most of the times it's just the the username to what you log into cPanel in the first place. How you got to this is the username and the password. So you can just duplicate that. In my case, it is and you can see it logged me in. And again, I'm looking for public HTML. That's where all of my websites are stored. And the one that we're discussing is Scotty Wick's stage right here. And you can see, here's my, here's my WordPress engine. It's the exact same thing as this over here. The difference is, is that now I can download all of these at one time. Um, so let me show you how to do that. I'm just I'm on my desktop right now. I'm just going to create a new file. I'm going to call it uh, site backup. And I'll open that. And what you can do um, just highlight the first one. And if you hold if you hold control, you know what? I would just do this. Just Whatever folders are in this directory, just go to the top one, hold hold down shift, and push your arrow key down, and it'll start highlighting all the files in there. Once you have them all highlighted, you're going to right click, and you're going to click download, and that will start the downloading process, and it backs up everything that's on your site. Um, and that's pretty much how you back up the files. Well, there is one more thing. You, you probably want to back up your database as well, and um, I don't have it installed right now. I don't believe. Let me check. Okay, I have it installed. I just haven't activated it yet. There's a uh, a plugin called DBC Backup, and it's basically an automatic database backup system. So this will automatically back up your database. So if you have this activated, what you would do, um, you're gonna put in the full path. What you can do is in your file manager, you can see right here is forward slash home forward slash pro block shop. That's the first part that I need. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it here. I can take out that last one. And then the actual directory is public HTML forward slash Scotty Wick stage in this case. Copy that and put it back over here. And then you can just do any file that you want to put this in. I like to do DB backups. Put a nice little slash after that. You'll click the activate button. I like to back up once a day and I'll do that for 60 days. Click save changes and you can see when you come back in here if I were to refresh this you can see that it created the DB backups folder and inside is uh, is where all of their databases are going to be backed up. So um, this should automatically back up your databases. So really, what you need to worry about is getting your files off of there before you update. But after uh, after you get the files off of there, you're ready to update. Just go to 
go to uh, your your updates and click update automatically and that's all there is to um, kind of maintaining your your WordPress software um, if you get to the point where there is the next major release and you are finding some problems which there's a good chance you will from some from some of the plugins that are a little bit older especially if there's two versions back um, you know give us a call and we will help you with the, with the major releases and make sure that um, everything is compatible and uh, we'll get you up to speed on that uh, but you may just want to go ahead and try to update it yourself anyway and see if, if nothing happens again you know how to back it up now you can just re reference this video um, but if you're still having problems with the updates uh, give us a call we will be glad to help and I hope this has uh, been enlightening and uh, useful to you guys uh, please feel free to leave comments, questions. Um, it would be awesome if you could send this to your Facebook or uh, let other people know that uh, we exist. And yeah, thank you for your time. Uh, this has been Pro Blog Shop, and we will catch you on the flip side.